Well, good morning everyone, slash afternoon, slash evening, depending on what time it is, where you are. Also, is it too late in the year to be saying Happy New Year? Oh, it's nearly the end of January, it's probably too late, but I haven't actually seen you guys the whole of this year, so a massive Happy New Year from me. How are you all doing? I hope you're all good, I hope you're keeping well and safe, and... I hope you all kind of missed me a little bit. I had a little bit of a break. I had a little bit of time out. I would like to tell you all that I am back and fresh and raring to go, but that would be a big lie. That would be a massive lie. I'm not really feeling too fresh or raring to go, but I have missed you guys. I've missed vlogging, I've missed filming, and I'm ready to get back into it. So welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the vlog. By the way, I'm about to use this mascara for the first time. I asked you guys over on my Instagram the other day what your favourite mascaras are. And so many of you came back and told me all different brands. But this one is L'Oreal Telescopic. And this was the one that was said the most. I also picked up the Maybelline Falsies one. Um, which I'll try later on this week. So this is the first time I'm using this mascara. So, oh, I'll just put it on top of my eyebrow now. Well, I can confirm it is amazing. Oh my God. My eyelashes have never ever looked so long. By the way, guys, do you remember in the first lockdown and I was telling you how long my eyelashes have got? Now look at them. I am like a new eyelash woman. I've been using, so, oh my God, I need bent the wand of this. I've been using... First of all, I used Rapid Lash, I think, to help them grow. Then I used, oh my god, they're all called Something Lash. It's all so confusing. It was Rapid Lash, Revita Lash, which was really good. And now I've started using, let me show you, this one. So this is called UK Lash. See what I mean? They're all called the same bloody thing. Um, this one I've been using, I want to say, for about three weeks. So this is mid-range price range. Does that make sense? So the Revita Lash, so expensive, but it 1,000% works. The other one, Rapid Lash, I think that one is second most expensive. That's good, but this is the cheapest. Let me tell you, my eyelashes have grown so much in the last few weeks, I can't even explain. Oh, they've gone a little bit flat after me putting that mascara on. I need to do a second coat. But yeah, this stuff, if you're wanting to grow your eyelashes, fully, fully recommend. It was about £35. I'll leave it linked down below. I got it from, I think I got it from Beauty Bay. Um, but yeah, after trialing a few of them, if you want one that's cheap but definitely works that's the one for you anyway i thought i would vlog my day today but my day has already started about four hours ago <laughs> i'm such a procrastinator i swear i have been up and i've been doing like my daily fitness routine and i hate to be that person because there's nothing worse than someone in lockdown that's like i am so productive and i am such a fit spo person but I have to say I've been working out just for my own sanity. It's given me a bit of a purpose in life. I'm on this little bit of a fitness journey. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. But also, it's just given me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. I know that sounds a bit deep, but it's true. So I'm actually going to show you my setup. And I did um, an hour of exercise this morning. Okay, so this is my daily gym setup. As you can see, this is the kitchen. So I've got my gym mat, which by the way, I got it from Amazon. But I've used my trainers on it. It looks like the cat's been scratching it, so wouldn't really recommend it. Then I've got a Gymshark um, gym band. No gym band, what do you call it? Resistance band, that's it. So I got these in the first ever lockdown. They're 2.5 kilograms. I got them from Sports Direct before all the shops shut in March. No, is it? Yeah, it must have been March. Um, but then I actually bought these the other day from Amazon, 5 kg. The reason I didn't buy them for so long is because they were so expensive. I think they were like 50, or no, 60 pounds. 60 pounds, gym equipment has gone through the roof price wise. By the way, look at my hand guys. Don't know if it's gonna focus, but I um, burnt myself on the oven, not a vibe. So if you can see my ugly hand, that's why. The workouts I use are these. So this is the Courtney Black app. I love Courtney, she's such a great girl and I swear to God this app is so good. So I'm on, I'm doing the 28 day challenge, but I kind of skip the rest days, which I know you're not really meant to do, but. I was late starting the challenge, so I wanted to catch up with everyone. And then there's all these real-time workouts here, so I am up to... What day are we on? We're on day 21. So yeah, from Friday of this week, I'll have done three weeks exercising every single day. I feel pretty good for it as well. 
So let's start this one here. Sorry, my screen's so dirty. And what I do is I pop her on this chair like that, and then she becomes my instructor, as you can see, by the way. Ignore the mess, as always, in this house. So I'm gonna work out. Look how red and sweaty I am. I've been doing it for just under an hour, about 404 calories, which is pretty good. I've got yoga now, and then I'm done for the day of exercise. So yeah, one more to go. So that's what I've been doing every morning. The Courtney Black workouts are so good. I literally love her. She keeps you so motivated. And like I say, it's just giving me something to focus on every day. Because to be quite honest with you, sorry, this is so hard to talk and do mascara at the same time. But to be quite honest with you, there's been a lot of days during this lockdown where I've just sat in bed and thought, why am I getting up today? Which is just the most depressing thing ever. And I don't want to be that person. So yeah, fitness is something that I've been getting up for. Then after that, I made myself some breakfast. Okay, here's what I'm having for breakfast today. So I actually picked these up from Marks and Spencer's the other day. So they are sourdough bagels, by the way. Ignore my nails. They're so awful. I need to do them. Um, and then I've just got obviously an avocado. So I'm going to have avocado on a bagel. Actually, I've decided I'm gonna have half with peanut butter. Look at the size of the tub of this peanut butter. <laughs> My dad got it the other day and it is absolutely huge. So yeah, I'm gonna do half peanut butter, half avocado. So here's the end result. I've got avocado and tomato on one side and peanut butter and honey on the other. So savory and sweet, maybe slightly weird, but I love both. <laughs> and that breakfast was so long ago, I am fully ready to eat some lunch. So I'm gonna get myself changed. Okay, my parents are back and my basically my parents went out this morning so I thought I'd vlog so I thought I had the house myself and their home. Um, and I just, that's another reason I don't really vlog very much because I hate vlogging if I think people can hear me, which sounds so stupid because I'm only myself on vlog but like, I just hate it. And any background noise as well, like if they make any noise then obviously you can hear them. And I just don't know, it just stops me from vlogging so much. Anyway, do you want to see my new tracksuit? I got it, um, when did it arrive? I think it arrived yesterday. It's Fear of God, but it's the Essentials ones. And I got it in the chocolate brown and also got the matching trousers as well, you can't see. I picked it both up in a size small. Let me just lower you a little bit so you can see how it fits, kind of. Um, I don't know if you can really see, but yeah, it's the nicest quality ever. Like, I've seen quite a lot of people online sort of, like, slagging it off a little bit, saying, like, who spends that much money on a tracksuit? And it is obviously quite a lot of money, and also, you can't really get it when it first comes out, because it sells out in, like, 30 seconds. Um, so you have to get it through resellers, and then, obviously, they put their prices up. They do actually have someone that sense or seen or whatever it's called, um, sometimes. But, um, yeah, it is quite pricey, but the quality of it is so good like it's so thick it's just really really nice and obviously at home at the minute all i'm doing is living in tracksuits so i just thought why not treat myself to you know a nice tracksuit so i actually love it so much yesterday i actually went and purchased the knitted version as well as soon as it came i tried it on and i was like wow I need this in every colour pretty much. So yeah, fully rate it. If you're after one, definitely would recommend. I'm a size 8 to 10, UK 8 to 10 pretty much. More like a 10. I say this all the time, but yeah, I'm more like a 10. Um, but sometimes I'm an 8 in bottoms. But just for size reference, yeah, I've got a small in the hoodie and in the trousers as well. But look, even the hood on it is so nice. Like, everything about it absolutely love it and the color i love this color as well anyway let's make some lunch although i'm not really doing much cooking as always you know everyone takes the piss out of me on instagram stories because all i do is eat um marks and senses ready meals although actually i'm going to show you guys tonight um we have been doing hello fresh um which i'll show you all the dinners and stuff but yeah i'll actually do a little so this vlog's going to be okay guys actually i'm going to show you guys tonight what we're having for dinner I fully recommend HelloFresh as well, by the way. I feel like this vlog is going to be full of so many recommendations, lol. Um, but yeah, let's make some lunch. Okay, I've got the choice of two dinners. So I picked this one up, which is from the Mark Spencer's Eat Well range. So often when I put these on, everyone's like, they're not even healthy, blah, blah. But basically someone told me yesterday, these ones with the sunflowers apparently very healthy so i've got either turkey meatballs or i've got the buddha bowl i actually had the buddha bowl yesterday let me show you look what it looks like it was actually really really nice so i'm gonna have the turkey meatballs today and i don't understand people that don't rate a ready meal like i do understand that sometimes it's really processed and they're really shit but like these ones are actually good and who's got the time to cook i mean like i actually have all the time in the world but i just don't really enjoy cooking so 
let me put this in the microwave so just waiting for that to cook chef life and all that but one of my new year's resolutions i mean that's a bit of a lie i don't really have any new year's resolutions i never really make any but one of the things i'm trying to focus on like i said to you earlier is trying to work out every day it's giving me a purpose it's giving me something to do i love fitness i love working out so to be honest it's kind of an easy thing for me to do but another thing that i don't find so easy and i've honestly struggled with the way i eat for since I was about 17. So it's been a long, long time and at times it's been a massive battle. But something I have always done and this is what I'm trying to change is whenever I'm working out and doing a workout regime, I starve myself. I just kind of see food as the enemy and kind of think that if I eat, I'm gonna put on weight. That's not true and anyone watching this should just know right away that that is not true and that's what I'm trying to train myself out of. I'm trying to make myself realise that if I'm burning 500 calories like I did this morning by working out, as long as I'm eating healthy nutritional foods, I can eat. And that's what I'm working on this year. I want to be a healthier version of myself. I want to try and get rid of this whole stigma I've got and that I've built up in my own mind that food is the enemy because it is not. Um, and yeah, I just want to just be healthier and happier in myself. So I'm eating three healthy meals a day. So you saw it at the bagel earlier. By the way, this is not going to be a what I eat in a day because I don't think I actually ever do those because everyone's so different. It all depends on your height and your weight and if you're a man or a female and there's so many different things that go into it. But basically this morning I had a bagel. I'm now having this meal and I'm also going to have a HelloFresh dinner tonight. I'm trying to eat three healthy, nutritious meals a day and work out as well and i'm hoping i see a difference in my body i think three years of like starving myself gonna be honest yo-yo dieting and just doing stupid things my body is definitely impacted from it and i'm trying to be a fitter stronger healthier like version of myself so that's the goal of 2021 i just want to be stronger and fitter so we're here for it, hopefully. Anyway, that was all a little bit personal, but I kind of wanted to tell you guys that because like, hopefully if I stick to this, which I am gonna stick to it, I'm very determined. Um, but hopefully like you'll see in the upcoming vlogs that I'm gonna continue doing this and just like making healthy stuff. Um, and obviously you'll see with the HelloFresh thing I'm doing tonight. By the way, look how good my eyelashes look after using that mascara. Wow. Can you see? I mean, you can see, I can see. They look so good. By the way, I've started a new skincare regime, which I am very excited to show you all. Yeah, I started a new skincare regime after speaking to Dr. Nina. Um, she does my Botox and my Profilo. Um, she's unreal. And through obviously this whole lockdown period and stuff, she is doing online skin consultations. So I had one with her the other day. She recommended me some new products because I had broken out so badly. And my skin, it was just so bad. That was getting me down a lot. Anyway, she recommended me some new products and I feel like they're working. I'm really, really loving them so far. Um, honestly, guys, I would recommend anyone, even if you're not suffering with your skin, but anyone to get a good skincare regime. Medical grade skincare is what we all need in our lives. A lot of these brands that you see, I don't even want to bash anyone, but like, you know, like simple. Um, I can't even think, cleanse, clean and cleanse. What's that, what's that brand called? Uh, even like um, Elemis, um, Ren. A lot of these brands are nice. They're nice brands, they're nice products, but if you have, temperamental skin they are not good for you like they make my skin break out so much it's the medical grade stuff that gives you real results yes it's costly but in my opinion after years of suffering with my skin it is worth every single penny let me tell you like fully 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 recommend Okay, it doesn't really look like the most delicious thing ever, but it is kind of fake pasta. So I think it is butternut squash spaghetti, turkey meatballs, tomatoes, and courgettes. All I'm saying is, guys, it's healthy, and that's what I'm here for. Oh my God, guys, it is delicious. Like, it's honestly so nice. The Buddha bowl yesterday was really nice, but kind of tasted very healthy, you know. This 
is just really, really tasty. Fully, fully recommend. Look how nice this PR package was. I got from um, Kerastase yesterday. Oh, this is actually not from them. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's their blonder range. You know, I've spoken to you guys about this actually like so many times before. I use it all the time. I actually did a look fantastic all the other day and got um, the shampoo, the purple shampoo and the regular one. But yeah, this came through the post yesterday, which I thought was so nice. And this is genuinely my favourite hair care ever. Um, and look how cute this water bottle is. It's got like crystals inside it. And they actually sent a real crystal as well. I'm very into my crystals actually. Don't tell you guys this. But yeah, my sister got me into crystals. And um, I have them beside my bed. So this one's going to be joining as well. Okay, we're in my bedroom. I feel like I've not spoken to you all in my bedroom in such a long time. But this is the place I really, really like to chat. So... But this is going to be a bit of a lengthy one. So first of all, I just want to talk to you all about why I haven't been vlogging or been on the channel or all the rest of it. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious, but I'm sure you're all fully aware of the fact that we're in a national lockdown. There's a global pandemic going on and I just haven't really had that much to show you guys. I pretty much go through the same routine every day. You've seen it yourself today. I get up, I work out. I try and eat healthy, I'll probably go for a walk in a bit, I do loads of admin, I do loads of work that's just on my phone and stuff that I would never video because it's so boring. I also often do it in my pyjamas unless I'm shooting that day. I don't often wash my hair, like I'm going to just put it out there, makeup is a rare thing nowadays and it's just, there's just would never be a point in me picking up my vlog camera. I also didn't ever want to be one of those people that jetted off to Dubai. This is no shade to anyone whatsoever. But I, the whole of this, I mean, since like the pandemic started last March, like I've not been on holiday since um, August 2019, which I know that's the same as most people. Um, of course, there were times last year when like the lockdown restrictions eased a little bit and I thought about going away and probably could have done, but I just thought, oh no, I'll wait until it's a little bit safer. And then we went into another lockdown and I just like completely missed my chance to go. But I just didn't want to be one of those people that was just enough to Dubai just to give you guys so-called good content. When in reality, that's not really being a good influencer i hate that word but that's what we're all called and i mean i've been looking at people on holidays i've also unfollowed a few people that have done it just because i just feel like right now we're we should all be in this situation together and those people that are out there to try and give people good content are actually just making people jealous and depressed I could, I'm just going to put it out there, like, I honestly was, I was watching people out in Dubai and they're getting up every day and they're like, oh, it's so hot today and I'm in my bikini, I'm at the beach club with my friends and I'm sat here with four day greasy hair in the same clothes as I've been wearing for the last three days. It's like, where's the influence in that? You're just influencing me to make me feel like my life is shit and I don't need to follow those kinds of people. So yeah, even though my content hasn't been, like, thrilling and I haven't been over on YouTube, it's just because I've just been like adhering to the lockdown rules pretty much and my life's been a little bit boring but so has pretty much everyone. So moving on from that situation, it's actually the kind of time of the day that I go for a long walk. So basically in the mornings I obviously work out and do my little fitness thing and then in the evenings, well not in the evenings because it's not when it's dark, but I go for, I try and do 5k walk. I haven't actually been for a couple of days though if I'm honest just to try and get my steps in um and it just makes me like it makes my head clear and i just i'm not really much of a person that loves being outside so i feel like it's good for me to go outside today is the dullest grayest horriblest day ever um but that's the uk for you um so yeah i'm gonna go out for a little walk now and i will pick up the vlog when i come back home hi guys it has been about an hour and a half since i last spoke to you it's pretty much pitch black outside um, I was meant to go for a walk and I just couldn't be asked. And I want to share this with you. I've actually just shared it on Instagram stories. I always get worried, by the way, about like cross crossing my um, self over there too much. Like, I get worried you've seen it all before, but I feel like there's actually quite a lot of different people on my YouTube to there is on my Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then I'll leave my at around here somewhere. But um, I just want to quickly say this. I'm always like so quick to be like, oh, I like walked a thousand miles today or like i don't know i did this workout or i did this or i did that but i just want to say like if you just can't be asked to do anything 
just today or like this week or this month or whatever like for six months like that's fine like don't beat yourself up about it as I say today I can't be asked to go on the walk and I'm not gonna like drag myself I just yeah can't be asked so I'm not gonna go and it's as simple as that really just yeah just gonna lay down <laughs> edit my photo for tonight which needs to go on instagram and chill out until dinner because why not by the way actually i've decided i'm gonna maybe do my new skincare routine with you tonight just thinking about it am i gonna do that yeah i might do that with you this evening just to show you some of my new products that i got guys a little mascara update I have really liked wearing it by the way it's been on for like five hours so not even that long but it's all kind of like flaky underneath my eye so for me that's the worst thing a mascara can do it's either like you know when it prints on the top of your lids or when it all flakes underneath your eye I hate that so you know I told you guys earlier that we have been doing HelloFresh so this is HelloFresh um, we did it, so it's all my mum's idea. So basically, if you don't know what it is, it is a service where you kind of choose your meals online and then they send you all the ingredients. You have to like fully, fully cook it. My mum keeps saying how much cooking is involved in it. But it gives you all the ingredients so you can just make it at home. The meals, I believe, they're all like different. So some of them are higher in calories than others, but they're all properly like made of like protein, vegetables, like carbs they're like good balanced meals if you know what i mean and obviously at the minute let's face it meals are so boring because we're just at home 24 7 and like we can't go out to restaurants and eat obviously you can um get takeaways and stuff but where i live like we don't have delivery and stuff like that like we literally we're in the dark ages still so we did this last week we only did four days and it was such a success like we loved it and it kind of makes you excited for dinner every single night so um we did it again this week we did have one bad meal um it wouldn't have been bad for some people but we just didn't really enjoy it it was the pork burgers but i'll show you which ones that we've had so far and what we've picked out and then i think tonight i'm not sure what we're having but i'll show you what they look like also i'd just like to say the first week when my mum did it i'll actually leave the link down below that you guys can use and um, this isn't an ad by the way my mum like paid for it or whatever but yeah the link that um, they give you and you buy it. I think you get like £20 off or something like that if it's your first order. So if any of you guys wanted to do it, um, I'll leave a link down below. Actually, I didn't realise, but when I put it on my Instagram, the amount of people that actually use HelloFresh is wild. I didn't know there's so many people did it. But it does make sense because it also, I think it reduces the amount of stuff you buy. It definitely does from the supermarkets and stuff because you just get what you need for the dinners. I think it would stop things going like moldy in the fridge and whatever. And obviously at the minute, it's something to look forward to. So let me show you. Okay, so last week's dinners were these. Doesn't this kind of look like Wagamama's how they kind of look? But they actually end up looking exactly like the picture. So here is all the ingredients that obviously they give you in the box that arrives on whichever day you choose it to be. We choose Mondays. So we had chicken and plum noodle stir fry. Then we had pan fried chicken with veggies. This was really good. We had the um, chicken and chickpea tagine. This was nice, but not one of my favorites. This, however, was so good. This was the barbecue sausage skewers. I don't actually really like sausages. I'm not a big pork lover, but these were banging. Really love those. And then this week, so far, we had the pork and apple burger didn't like it to be honest. I thought it was really dry and as I say I'm not really much of a pork lover so it wasn't really a bit of me but I think some people would like it. Last night we had the refried bean halloumi tacos. These were really nice but we added sweet potato fries because like otherwise all you have is that for dinner and I feel like it's not really enough. Um, tonight I think we're going to have this. So dolphin my potatoes, steak and green beans. Once again not really much of a meat eater but I kind of fancy it. My dad's a big meat eater, so we got it for him. We've got Cajun prawn risotto and also the hoisin sticky barbecue chicken breast. So yeah, I just wanted to share it because it's bloody boring at home right now and every single night I feel like there's a lot of people out there thinking, what am I going to make for dinner? And this is kind of your answer. It's all sort of pre, not made because you have to make it, but it's all sort of pre-thought out for you, which is great. So... Once we've made it tonight, I'll show you the end results. So here is what it's meant to look like. And this is what my mum's cooked up. So it looks pretty similar. Um, we'll give it a try and I'll tell you the verdict. 
verdict of the chicken and sticky rice was pretty good it tasted very healthy i can't lie right now it's been about an hour and a half since we ate i'm really hungry like i am fighting the urges to go downstairs and eat a load of shit like that's the only problem when you eat healthy why do you always feel so hungry like i feel like i need to go and get a cup of chamomile tea and stop myself from eating i did actually last night it was so weird i brushed my teeth without thinking about it and then i had to go downstairs for something because i'd brushed my teeth and put in my retainers actually stopped me from eating so maybe i should do the same again tonight um but i am just about to do my evening skincare routine which is obviously an updated one from the last one that i showed you guys so i'm just having a nightmare trying to put my hair up right now i don't know why it's not going up okay that will do just a little bit secure um yeah so it's an updated one i'm using new products as i told you earlier i had a skin appointment the other day with my skin doctor dr nina i will actually leave all her details down below because honestly she's changed my skin life and i would just so recommend it the appointments with her you have like a zoom chat and they're 80 pounds i'm pretty sure it was 80 pounds i've told you before but basically in my skin as soon as i touch it it goes red like this I'm naturally not like this, it's just as soon as I touch my skin, this is what happens. So let me take off my makeup. What I'm using to take off my makeup are just these reusable Garnier um, pads. They're actually so good. Garnier sent me these and they're brilliant. And then I just use micellar water. Okay, my makeup is all off. So as you can see, this is my skin. It's completely and utterly bare right now. I stupidly picked this spot <laughs> on top of my eyebrows. It was barely a spot picked it this morning and i've made a huge mark just guys don't pick your spots there's no need for it i wish i could like listen to my own advice i am the worst spot picker in the history of the world like i actually love picking spots which is so gross i know but i just love it like any little thing i can like see i'll pick it but anyway you, everyone tells you not to do that but i continue to do it anyway first step in my routine is this so these products are called Illumier. i think probably butchered that but something along those lines this is the purifying gel cleanser so i just take like two pumps of this and then i wet my face and massage it in now obviously these products might not be suitable for you but what dr nina does is she will like speak to you about your skin kind of assess it online well over the zoom chat you know um and then prescribe to you the products that she believes will work for you you don't like have to buy everything i only got four of the products she spoke to me about i love them though so i've been using them for like three weeks and i love them so i'm gonna go and get the other products that she recommended to me as well but i kind of wanted just to see if i loved like if i liked the skincare range because remember before i was using zo which she also prescribes but I'd obviously had this breakout, so we kind of switched up a little bit. And I have to say, I feel like these products are slightly less harsh, yet the results are better. Does that make sense? So yeah, I do this, I double cleanse, so I do this twice. We will just ignore the spot on my head that I've now decided to pick and made it look even worse. Don't be me. Anyway, next up I use a toner. So this is the same brand as the cleanser. And I just take a couple of pumps, but this is onto a pad that is um, not reusable, so a disposable one. Just because I think that the reusable ones, they're okay when I first want to take my makeup off. But I find that they can get like a lot of bacteria in them. Obviously, I wash them with soap, but yeah, sometimes I think that they can cause me to have spots, if I'm honest. I can't believe what I've actually done to that spot. Anyway, next up is the Boost Serum. Same brand. When you buy anything from Dr. Nina, what happens is they kind of send you a um, thing online, like a link to a step-by-step -step how to use each product so you know what you're doing and in what order and at what time of day, which is really handy because sometimes we can end up with all these products and not know what the fuck we're doing with them, if you know what I mean. And so the last step is this. So this is from Alpharet. So this is an overnight cream. Once again, just a couple of pumps. I use this actually morning and night. And then just apply it evenly over my face as well. So I'll do that. And that is pretty much it. 
and that is my evening skincare routine so it's as easy as that my morning one is a little bit different it's the same products but like in a different order and not so many of them if that makes sense um so i'll show you that in another vlog but yeah that's my new skincare routine there are a few products i'm going to be adding in over the next couple of weeks you know that i said she prescribed me some other products but i didn't get them i'm going to get them and then i'll do another updated one but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um it feels good to be back i hope you have enjoyed me being back <laughs> and i hopefully will see you in my next video which all being well will be like a big haul including zara misguided asos and that should be up on sunday so hopefully i will see you guys there sending you all so much love i hope you're all keeping safe and i will hopefully see you on sunday bye